It's been quite a while since we talked about Samsung's rumored to be coming very soon multi-folding, two-hinged folding phone, tablet device, whatever they're going to call that thing. And today, we do have something new to look at. This comes from SammyGuru.com. The headline reads, exclusive Galaxy Z Trifold to get its own One UI tricks. So apparently, they were able to kind of look at One UI, dig in. We see this quite a bit with Google devices, Pixel devices, where they're able to dig into these betas and so forth and find sort of hidden things that allude to later features. And that's exactly what we have here. The first one, three app parallel split screen. So obviously when you're talking about a device like this, this is my Z Fold 7, Two apps side by side makes, I think, the most sense. Having a third app in there either requires that third app to be quite small and scrunched down, or like we've seen on some other devices, it can overflow off of the screen. But this upcoming trifold, multifold, two hinge, whatever you want to call it, you can argue about it in the comments. I'm done having this conversation. It's much larger, it's a 10 inch screen. So the multitasking needs to be different. And what they're describing here both looks and sounds very similar to the multitasking that you can do on the Honor Magic V5. So with that in mind, what we're going to do is I'm going to demo that multitasking and kind of show you what this might be like. So on my Honor Magic V5, I can click on an application and then if I want to bring another app in, I've got my taskbar down here. We'll just do YouTube and we'll drag it up really nice, smooth animation here to open up that second app. And then if I want to open up a third application, I can go back into my taskbar again and we'll just grab Vivaldi, my web browser. And if I drag it up, you can see it can replace, but I can also release to add an app. And you can see what we're going to have, three apps side by side by side. Now, of course, there is one caveat to this. Because this device just isn't a 10-inch screen, it allows apps to overflow off of the screen. I can tap over here and it shifts over and then I can see the Play Store and YouTube. I can tap over here. Now I can see the Play Store and my web browser. On the Z Trifold Multifold Dual Hinge, it's going to be big enough that that's not going to happen. You're just going to see all three apps side by side by side. And they should all be about the same size aspect ratio as a normal phone. So basically three phone apps all on the screen, all at once, no compromises, no shrinking, no going off screen. They're all just on the screen. One caveat to this is it will apparently have the ability to do this vertically or horizontally. If you want to go the other way, you can do it that way as well. I'm not really sure what that's going to look like. Maybe that requires rotating the device. I don't really know. I don't think that's a thing I can do on my Honor Magic B5. I don't think that this button, may, wait, maybe I can't horizontal split. Okay, yeah, it kind of can. So you have a big, a big app and then another big app, but you know what it did? It got rid of one of the applications, I think. I don't think I have that third application in there. So we can kind of do this. Oh, no, it's there. It's just in the middle and it's small. So there's a big app, there's a small app, and there's a big app. Can I make the middle app big as well? Yeah, okay, so you just have this thing going on. So that's probably not what it's going to be like, but you can do it, I guess. I honestly wondered if they were going to rework their multitasking to make more sense on this larger screen. I think that they probably could have rolled out exactly what they have on their other tablets and nobody would have probably had a problem with that because it works just fine, but it is cool to see that they are building some software specifically for this device. It is a different kind of device than a tablet, so I can see why they might feel like they need to do that. One area where they definitely, because it transforms, needed to do that is right here with cover screen mirroring. So as you know, on Z Fold devices, you can have one of two setups going. You can have it set up so that your cover display and your inner display have two independent layouts. They can be completely customized on their own, or you can have cover display mirroring. So you can see I have this page and this page, and when I open the thing up, it just mirrors those two pages on my inner screen. That is actually my preferred way to do this. I don't want to have to keep up with two different things. That's absolutely fine. So you can see this graphic here that they have uploaded, and it shows 
exactly what this cover screen mirroring is going to look like. You can see that it's got an independent layout and then the two screens from the two pages from the cover display shift over to the 10 inch inner display and they're just kind of spread out a little bit compared to how they looked before on that cover display. And that I think is probably a pretty reasonable way to go about this. You can also see that the four icons down here at the bottom, which are going to be like your little taskbar. Watch as this animation goes. It's kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what to make of this. So you have four icons here and you have four icons here on the other screen. Now I would assume that's going to be your taskbar because there's your little home, your, your, your page indicators there. But they all come over here as the taskbar on the inner screen. That's not how that works on the Z Fold currently. Currently, those apps down here at the bottom that are your taskbar, that is exactly how they appear on your cover screen. It's the exact same icon. So this sort of implies a difference here where it's combining page one icons and page two icons to be the full taskbar on that inner screen. That's a little detail that I hadn't noticed until I started watching this animation. I hope that there's a whole lot more stuff like this that Samsung is working on for this device as it is a new novel kind of device that goes from a normal phone to a 10 inch tablet. Again, they could just sort of limp into this with Z Fold software, but it does seem like they are updating things and doing some new things. You could also wonder if maybe some of this stuff will make its way back to the Z Fold. The three app side by side thing could come back and work the same way as it does on my Honor Magic V5. I think that a lot of people would be okay with having an option like this on their Z Fold 7. We can already do the 90-10 split now, so adding something like this I think could be a cool thing to just keep throwing more options at us. You're Samsung. After all, that's what you used to do for a long time, so just keep doing more of it. Guys, if you want to see the original article, I'll put a link to Sammy Guru in the description down below. Let me know what you think about this. Does this stuff get you more excited for this uh, multi-fold device? Let me know in those comments down below. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.